What's cracking, guys? Omar Esau here, back with another video. In this video today, I got five minutes or less to explain how important rest intervals are when it comes to muscle growth and strength. And essentially what I'm gonna say is I think some people put an overemphasis on the rest intervals. You should be focusing on the quality of reps you do, the total amount of work you do, your work capacity more than anything else. If this means you need to rest a little bit longer, so be it. This isn't just conjecture, this is based upon research. Recently, there was a uh, Japanese study last year taking a look exactly at this because it is an old bodybuilding adage, right? You want to chase the pump, you want to get a lot of repetitions, you want to shorten that rest interval, get that pump going on. But what about the quality of those reps, right? If we rest too short, let's say we're doing squats or deadlifts or bench press, if we rest too short, the quality of the reps will suffer. We won't be able to lift the amount of weight that we want for the amount of reps. So there is a certain amount we need to rest, but let's take a look at a very short rest interval, like the Japanese study, versus a moderate rest uh, interval. So they took a look at 30 seconds versus two and a half minutes, two different groups. They did 40% of their one rep max, which makes sense. We know for strength, you need to rest longer. But what about lighter uh, uh, intensities? What about chasing that pump? So 40% is a good uh, percentage range to select for the study. And what they did, they took a look at strength, muscle growth, and their total amount of work they're able to do. Strength. Uh, when they observed this study, it was about the same for 40% of the one rep max. Okay, cool. The big difference, however, was that work capacity. Those that rested longer, those that rested two and a half minutes first 30 seconds, were able to do better reps, more reps, total for the workout. And here's what I mean. Again, if you rest 30 seconds, let, let's say you have a hard, what you're doing, 225 on the bench, it's 70% of your one rep max, and you gotta do eight reps. If you rest only 30 seconds, quickly the quality is going to go down, you're not going to be using the proper muscles, let's say your chest is too fatigued from the prior set to be properly involved, and that's, your, that's how poor technique uh, comes into play. So, for us, we're after that total work volume, and we're after that work capacity, how much you could do in a workout. And essentially what happens, if you don't rest long enough, you burn yourself out. Your heart rate goes through the roof, you become too fatigued, you can't focus, again, your form tends to break down. So there's a lot of different reasons. But there's also a comprehensive overview in 2014, Menno and Dr. Brad Schoenfeld uh, published this, taking a look at rest intervals, and once again, they showed that what you want to focus on, essentially, is how much work you can do. The quality of the repetitions and the amount of repetitions over the rest interval. So don't be sweating it out on the clock, don't be trying to time yourself thinking, oh shit, 30 seconds, I'm not causing enough muscle damage, I gotta rush over. There was a time and place for everything, supersets, doing giant sets, things like this, but overall, when we take a look at the vast majority of your training, taking the appropriate amount of rest in order to lift is most wise. And what does that mean? I would basically say to try and frame it in a reasonable way, try and rest the minimum amount of time to get the most effective workout. So how long do you need to rest between sets in order to do eight quality reps? Let's say at 70%, is that a minute and a half? Is it two minutes? Is it three minutes? Everyone's different. We can improve our work capacity over time, which means how much we do in a given workout and we could do it in a shorter period, shorter time interval. And that's something that you build up over time. I would say overall, however, chase that quality, chase that work capacity, chase those repetitions over chasing the time period. And this has once again been shown pretty damn conclusively. So, all other things being equal, get your damn reps in. Guys, I hope this video explains it. I know a lot of people wonder about this. How long should you be resting? And that's why you'll see I'll put out programs and I'll give a good general recommendation. Rest the minimum amount of time necessary to have an effective workout or an effective set. And that depends upon the individual. Don't be sweating it out on the clock, worrying, oh man, like uh, I'm not gonna cause enough muscle damage. Relax, it's all good. Anyways, Alex, how long has it been? Uh, four minutes. Four minutes, wow, less, I could take my time. Guys, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.